Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Weekly. As always, and who else would I be but Robo? And today, it's kind of a light episode. We talked about news on Wednesday, we talked about news on Sunday, we talked about news last Friday. I, there's just been a lot of stuff, especially on the Hasbro front. And we're going to talk about Hasbro a little bit more. I, sorry, guys, if you don't care for Star Wars Black Series or Marvel Legends, fast forward a little bit and we'll get to other stuff. And that's going to be some Square Enix, some Mezco, some Bandai Spirits, which... I guess that's what they're calling the model kit lines now. Anytime I see them solicited, it says Bandai Spirits. I, I hadn't noticed that. Is it something new? But that's what I'm going to say from now on because it sounds cool. <laughs> and then also some NECA, just to throw that in before I get into position. Going back to the Marvel Legends that have been revealed over the past couple weeks from MCM London, from Luca Italy, from uh, Paris, France. Hitting back on Beast a little bit. We talked about this in a quickie. Ooh, was it good for you? <laughs> the sculpt is there. The articulation is there. The paint is there. What I forgot to mention is it looks like he comes with alternate hands. In the promotional shots, he has fists, which is cool, but Beast is Beast. You want him springing around, blah, 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 blah. And on the sample in the case, he had a splayed out hand and then he had a flat hand. And it looks like he can do the handstand that everybody wants him to do. This is so close to perfect. I'm not taking anything away from what they've already shown us, but Perfect in my book would be a neutral face. And maybe that'll come later in a deluxe or a box set or a vintage. I don't know. As long as we eventually get one, I'm good. But until then, I'm also good with this. Also in this shot from Project Piper Customs, he's in the back right there repping ACBA. You can see that Beast doesn't look overly huge. Yes, he's bigger, but he's not huge bigger. I cannot wait to see this standing beside other figures. Citizen V and Union Jack are kind of in the foreground here, so it's kind of hard to tell, but you get a, an idea. An idea is better than, well, they use the Sasquatch body. Sucks. Also from Italy, something I missed. On the promotional shots, the webbing on Six-Armed Spider-Man, I know I rambled about it too long in the last quickie, but the webs are raised, whereas on the figure in the case, it's etched in, so which is <laughs> it's one of those things where we probably won't know until we see carded shots well toy fair in february may be before we actually see these coming out of the factory so maybe we'll get to ask questions or see it again before it actually releases keeping with marvel legends for a second this week saw the release of gamestop's game reverse spider-man this is based on the recent video game which kicks all kinds of ass and i would have finished it if i hadn't started playing red dead 2 damn it just not enough time in the day. The pre-orders for this are shipping at the moment. They are popping up in physical brick and mortar stores and I need to go check mine before the 25% off all action figures sell ends. It's a hell of a deal, especially for brand new stuff like this. Also rewinding a bit to the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series reveals from, uh, which one was this? Was this Paris? This was Paris. We saw the promotional shot for episode two Padme and the initial reaction from me at least was, holy shit! Yes, I love this thing. But after reading comments and then sitting on it for a couple days, you look at it again and the head, it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of odd looking. This shot was taken at the show of the sample in the case and in physical person. Well, we're looking at a picture of somebody seeing it in physical, you know, right in front of them. And this looks a lot better. It, it's a more in-person thing. It's going to be one of those see carded shots and then finally get it into hand. It, I... I trust that it's going to look better. And either way, as much as I love the SH Figure Arts Padme from later on in this movie with the torn shirt, that head isn't the best likeness either. I feel like this is going to be another one of those cases where, you know, Hasbro's going to come in and you're going to, oh, look at that. 20 bucks. Mm. Also, thanks to Eggman Studios on Instagram, I forgot that we were even getting the Han Solo Mud Trooper. Seeing that again, it reminds me, oh, I need that figure. And it also makes me think that he may be coming in that spring assortment with all the prequel figures. Well, all all the prequel figures we've seen. The Mace, the Padme, the Battle Droid. Yeah, that's going to be a hell of an assortment next year too, compared to the assortment we're getting right now, which is seven new figures in a case of eight. Ooh, Hasbro, I think I like this decision to, you know, all one case pack, not a lot of repacks. He also provided shots of the archive collection on card. This blister card thing with Black Series kind of touches added to it. Even though I have the Boba Fett and the Bosk and the IG-88 and Luke and X-Wing, I'm gonna need this too because it just makes a beautiful presentation. I'm not a card collector. What the hell are you doing to me, Hasbro? Okay. 
toys. And to finish off the Star Wars Black Series news, uh, Disney Store has put up for order in stock right now their exclusive uh, Zuckus, who Zuckus, Captain Phasma with battle damage with her eyeball sticking out, and then the Stormtrooper with blast effects. These are also being found in store this exact moment. They went up online and they hit stores. It's very rare that that happens. I, you gotta cherish it. I do so love it when a plan comes together. They did raise the price on each $5 a piece because they are Disney Store exclusives. Well, in the case of the Stormtrooper, it does come with extras. I don't know how I feel about this. Not that it's gonna stop me from buying it, but God damn it, Hasbro. Here's the first of some Robo Don't Knows because, hey, I just like toys. If they look beautiful, I'm interested. But yes, sometimes I go and find the source of it and stuff. Sometimes I don't. Hey, action figures, get over it. But up for solicitation this week is the Square Enix Bring Arts Dragon Quest III Seeds of Salvation Hero. Did I get that right? <laughs> Oh, dang, I got that right. Robo may not know Dragon Quest. I never played the games and such, but it's been pointed out several times that I'm drawn to it because of the familiarity of it. The designs, everything else, and people pointed out, hey, that's because it's designed by Akira Toriyama, better known for the Dragon Ball universe. So my interest, even though I don't know a lot about Dragon Ball, my interest in Dragon Ball, that seems to carry over in my brain somehow to the Dragon Quest line. Not to mention, the figures are beautiful. They look nicely articulated. I love the colors on them. The paint jobs, oh man, the blends and the actual pastel-like colors, there's just something beautiful about them. It comes with a sword and shield. It also comes with Erdrick's sword and shield, it seems more fancy, more elaborate in the both the design and the name. Several sets of hands, three face options, uh, has a grin, has a neutral, and then it has the screaming face. It being Dragon Ball-esque, I would expect nothing less than a screaming face. It has an alternate lower tunic for more action-y poses, and then a babble, or a bubble slime as it's now called. That's $67 and it releases in March. Robo knows who Freddy is. Robo only just now watched Nightmare, any Nightmare on Elm Streets a couple of years ago during a Halloween marathon. And it being Halloween season right now, I mean, I know it's past, but it's still the season. Mezco soliciting their 112th collective Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy. It seems really appropriate. And there's more news after this of other lines, other companies, and other horror franchises. So you know it's Halloween. Now, Freddy comes with a trash can lid. He comes with four alternate heads. He's got the grinning, the scowling, the frowning and the one where the face comes off the face. Face comes off the face? Ah, good enough. Alternate hands including different claw positions and then one with missing fingers and the green goo coming out. And then of course a stand. It's up for pre-order right now. Last I checked it wasn't sold out, but it's $80 and it comes out somewhere between July and September of next year. Did I mention it was Halloween? And NECA loves that shit. They recently teased a Laurie Strode from Halloween 2018. You can see the sculpts there. You know it's NECA. You know it's gonna be pretty damn good. That's all I got. <laughs> I don't know much about Halloween and I haven't seen the new movie. But keeping with the horror theme, NECA also announced that they are re-releasing the Friday the 13th Jason in Nintendo video game colors to GameStop next year. Also being re-released is the Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy in video game colors, but this time around he's sporting the ultimate body. That means more articulation for those of you who enjoy that kind of thing. Both are up on GameStop's site for $25 a piece and they release in March. One more NECA tease, just this morning they showed a figure for Spyro the Dragon. Yep, you guessed it. I don't know anything about Spyro the Dragon. Where was I when everybody was playing these video games? I don't know. It's Arkansas. We're usually a couple years behind and by the time we catch up we skip some stuff. But like Crash Bandicoot, it looks like a hell of a video game action figure. Researching the new model kits from Bandai for both Dragon Ball and Star Wars, I ran across this and I don't know anything about Heropla? Sorry? Her Heropla? Her I it's something. But this is the Heropla, I said it again, just trying it. I hope that's right. Mobile Hero Plastic Model. Now I have no attachment to this, but for some reason, this is saying, buy me and put me together and I will be awesome. Now apparently the standard Heros have been out for a little while and they look cool. They, they're, they're ball. Hopefully me, you know, actually making a circle will help you understand that it's a ball. 
but it has cool flip up things. The arms come out, the legs come out, the front comes off for some kind of guts look on the inside. The best I can find, they say the standard one is two inches. So going by that and kind of just looking at the exoskeleton on this one, I'm gonna guess it's around three inches tall before the big ass guns gets attached to the back too. I also don't know if the inside ball thing comes out of the exoskeleton and it does the little flip out arms and legs thing. But either way, even just in the exoskeleton, if this is the only presentation you have, I, I may need it. I don't know if it harkens back to Marvel Comics Nanny for me for some reason. It's the same basic premise. It's a ball with arms and legs. Whereas Nanny is an egg with goggles. Yeah, I know, I get it. It doesn't look exact, but it makes me think there has to be a Gundam somewhere out there that kind of looks like Orphan Maker, who, late 80s comics. Mm -mm -mm. Now this is $9 on Ami Ami. So for $9, I have to give it a shot. That's just too cheap. Shipping's gonna cost more than that. But I still have to give it a shot, see what's going on here. Also don't have to wait too long because it comes out in January. But also in January is the Bandai Figure Rise Standard Dragon Ball Super Ultra Instinct Goku. Once again, if I put those words in the wrong order somehow, let me know in the comments. It kind of looks like the same legs and feet as the some of the other models we've gotten at the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, or Super Saiyan Blue, whatever you want to call it. The Super Saiyan 3, the standard Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku. We've seen this, at least the legs, a couple of times, but you get up past that, the torn shirt hanging around the waist, the bare chest, the bare shoulders, the head, the hair, that looks like all new pieces. I haven't had a chance to watch Super yet, but with the silver hair it being a little bit more pulled in, it's not as extreme as we usually see with Super Saiyan, I, I'm loving that look too. And the silver just looks delicious. I don't know why I say delicious whenever I think of silver. It's just kind of mm, ethereal a little bit. What that has to do with delicious, I don't know. Maybe I'm hungry. I, I am hungry. It also looks like they're continuing to improve on how the models go together. With previous models, it's usually just wide eyes and a separate piece for the black in the middle, a separate piece for the eyebrows, and it gives a great look without having to apply decals to the face or doing your own painting. Here, it actually has eye color, pupil, iris, there's silver around it, you have the silver for the eyebrows. There's a little bit of glare, a, a white piece coming up to denote like shininess. It's a little bit more I hate to say realistic to a figure like this, but realistic. Now it comes with a couple of different face pieces. I don't know if it's two or three. Solicitations say three, but then only show two and list two. After it says three faces, it just has, you know, the gritting teeth and then the normal face. Also not shown are the effects. They list as Kamehameha buildup and then blast. Maybe it's the same ones we've seen. Maybe they're in slightly different color. Maybe, I, I don't know, again, We'll have to wait till it actually comes out or they put more solicitation pictures up. But on the overseas sites, this does cost $20. It comes out in January. Bluefin will probably bring it into other countries and it'll be slightly higher price and a month later. Because they also snuck out solicitations for the next Astromex in the Astromex series. And I say snuck out because I see it up for order on like Amazon Japan and uh, AmiAmi's Japan site. For some reason, the overseas sites still think of this line as just their region, can't be sold outside the region. But we know that Bluefin brings in the figure models now. Maybe they don't want to step on each other's toes, maybe there's something in the contract, I don't know. But Imperial Astromex, mm, the black and the orange, Ooh, I love it. We already know the model kits are awesome, they're great in scale, they have little features that make them even better. When it comes down to it, the model kits are up at the top of my list of Astromex. Getting them in different colors, even better. Ooh. But not only are they awesome looking Astromex in different colors, they also come with parts for the recently released booster with the Rocket Boosters R2-D2 model kit. That figure also comes with a bunch of attachments to make it the ultimate R2-D2 and with even more stuff. I, you can't put all this on at the same time, can you? I just plug, 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 plug. I did not just do that. <laughs> the R4-I9 that's coming out this month, I, I think it's this month, it comes with the drink tray from Jabba's Cell Barge for R2. The R2-Q5 coming out in January comes with the attachment on top of R2's head for the drink dispenser. And then R5J2 coming out in March seems to have attachments for R2's upper chest where the blue strips come up and out. It's got tools to pop out there too. The R2Q5 also has some kind of rod that comes out R2's dome and it's kind of, I don't know what it is, but he comes with it. It's something extra for the other R2. I have got the R2. I just, 
I, I feel a little bit intimidated by all the stuff it comes with, so I haven't built it yet. I figure when I get R4 or I9, it's gonna be just a big building party all night. Now remember, these pictures are painted. The tools come in less colors than this, you have to paint it in order to make it look like this. The overseas sites list these as $15 and coming, well, like I said, uh, R2Q5 in January, R5J2 in March. Bluefin will be bringing these in probably about around $20, $25 and they will release a month later. Astromex, so good. And that's everything for the world of six inch action figures, at least for today. <laughs> I can't even say today. There may be something popping up here in a couple hours. Some people ask me why I don't talk about hot toys or three and three quarter inch scale or, you know, 10 inch or whatever scales in between. NECA is seven inch. Most of the other stuff I talk about is six inch. That's all I can keep up with. That's what I buy. That's what I know most of the time, at least toy wise. I may not know all the properties, but my interest is mostly in six inch. And if I'm talking about hot toys that I'm not gonna buy or don't know a lot about or how they come out, then it's just me, you know, <laughs> talking out of my ass. Not that I don't talk out of my ass half the time anyway, but you know what I mean. So until next week, if you enjoyed this Foosh Weekly, I kicked it too early. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.